the old. It's a national tree of Jamaica, Aki. Yes. Some people never thought it was Aki and Southfish. We're the Southfish tree. <laughs> Where some people never see breadfruit tree. Yeah. Or, uh, or yes, I tell you, you're listening to a tune of a play from there. Grub Cooper, tribute to the mighty diamonds. Diamonds are forever. But you want to know, let me tell you which part there. We know they are Jamaica, you know, people. We don't, they are Jamaica, we're there. We are come live. From London, England, special one radio live station we are talking about. But then another radio station and broadcast all the way to Kingston, Jamaica, and all the way in London and so and surrounding areas. We don't even know which part of, which part else it come on, Bridget. The station yeah, right round England. Yeah. Round of the world. <laughs> the radio said they right round the world. Alright. Well we do say Jamaica station, this station, you know, special one, radio, it's going to be a serious thing because you know the man say, station broadcast right round the world. You understand? So we give thanks to hear that. You know, for those of you who don't know, we there in England to do some promotion for a book. And we have two shows for those Friday and Saturday. For those of you who don't know, so, Little more we tell you about that. We have Duke Basin in the house and we have Mandingo in the house. Hey, the people them are, the people them know Mandingo. We want to talk to Duke Basin you know, because Duke Basin is one of the man them we make the cutting edge be worldwide on YouTube. Yes, will you put man know cutting edge to YouTube? And we want you look Galaxy. Galaxy Radio we there at Galaxy last night. And, what do you mean now? A flavor there? Mm-hmm. Right. In. A dementia we are work with that. A do basic cars with you. We didn't depart. We didn't depart. My nigga radio station. Flavor radio. The night before, we didn't depart Galaxy radio. We want you look Galaxy as we have said. Galaxy is the first radio station. Them say them are celebrate 40 years this year, yeah, the next year. It's the first radio station we broadcast um, cutting edge all over England and make people know about cutting edge. Them band it so much that it's unbelievable. If I could have collected for every tape we, we play in London, I could have buy, I could have buy IRFM. But SLR is the next station over the years we broadcast it, so who want you up all of them ones there, you know, over the years in England, yeah, who make cutting edge become a book. And it's that to do with for them launch a book about the cutting edge. Yes, I don't know if no other radio program will, will catch that. You say, they might go broadcast, and then when you broadcast, some people in a, a next country clear in a Europe. Realize the impact of this program here. Yeah. And okay, how much fight it get from them time yeah, until now. It now turn book. Yes, cutting edge turn book. You understand? So we launched it in a Spain last month. Yes, so how much people did it? 250,000 people. Ratatam Festival. And now we launch it. Yes, sir. Uh, how much, how much bookstore we got already? Six, five, a uh, five bookstore over there from Friday over there. A uh, bookstore to bookstore every day. A signed book. Today was the last one. And then we're going to move on now to Birmingham Saturday. So one of the people them know, so we're there, you know. We're there. And we're going to go through the pieces as we usual from the cutting edge. Five hours ahead of Jamaica. So, we want to take the first break and come forward. We want to interview after the next at them. You know, as it relates to the idol face, you know, it's sentence again. Everything I keep long as sentence now. <laughs> but I tell you, enter, sentence is the center for stage shows and entertainment at this given time. So we want to tell you that we're going to talk to that person 
something to something to eleven. Okay, we're going to them now something to eleven. So, meanwhile, I'm going to give back Marjorie. Marjorie, here we go. We're going to have to go on YouTube again tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to have to go on YouTube tonight. Tonight, the right thing. You understand? So, who are you up? All the people them in England are right now. We are listening to it direct from special one radio station. You understand? So we'll go to our next week and come forward. How? Straight into Jamaica. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Yeah, as I say, we supposed to be having a, a talk with some of the ones from um, the Ital Fest, which is coming on the 25th of November. Something that was postponed, but it is here again. And it's so wonderful that we hear a major event named Ital Fest. Because we know where we got through over the years, through we are talking about Ital Liberty. You know, a whole heap of people scoff at the word Ital. You know, see, because it have a hype on it. Them say, what kind of foolish name Ital? So them say, natural, and we say Ital. And me say it again, I'm going to say it a million at one time. You know, we did that, and then we say hi tal and everybody, you know, hi pa. Now, we see the big guys, them come near iPhone, iPad, iTunes. I mean, I said, oh, nobody now say a fool, this is that. What kind of phone name iPhone and iPad? And, you know, so we supposed to be there because we did not say I. But Mr. Musk and Mr. Jobs and all them people, you know, them are not really at because them come with the eye. And a good all of Rasta man, them get it from too, you know. <laughs> a good all of man try to look at that nigga with them, them they find them all the day I hear Rasta man and say, no, I and I not deal with them something there, you know. And him just say, oh man, that's a good thing to say, man. Let's, let's go up an iPhone, iPad, iTunes, I decide that and all them something there. You think them easy? No, we see people naturally, just normally, I say, I. Just normally. So when I and I say I and I don't sound no we again, you know. You know, so no we again. White people come show and say something can name I something. I tal. So the festival name I tal festival and it is showcasing I tal food as far as I tal food can go when you come on to showcasing it. You know, it, it, it's food. No we hear that name come now. Because one time it was Vegetarian food. They know it named vegan vegetarian. Then you have lacto vegetarian. Then you have Pisceans. We eat veg- eat fish. Ongo 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 animal product them eat. And you have some people that say, them is vegetarian, them ongo eat fish. I mean I say, what the hell are you talking about? You eat fish. And I call yourself vegetarian. You ever see fish a fish a group on tree? A vegetarian is the one who is a, is, is veg, is vegetable him eat. You understand? It have nothing to do with, it. and then them come lacto vegetarian. You know, a lacto vegetarian is one who only eat, um, like egg and cheese and all these things. Look at my, you're not vegetarian. You eat a whole part of vegetable, but you mix it up with milk and cheese and egg and them something there. So, it gone, we you know, you hear what them call it now. Plant based. <laughs> no, I tell you, it means plant based. Everybody has said, Oh, I eat plant based food. <laughs> what is plant based food? Maybe it's plant, but it have a base. I don't know what the base is sometimes. A man got to mix up certain things and I just say, Well, didn't we tell you that it was based? Plant based. We still have to say, I tell you, know, how we are going, we still have to say, I tell you. Because I can't reach nowhere else after I say Ital. So, they must celebrate Ital food in a St. and in a festival named Ital Fest. And we laud the people them who are doing it. And we have some chef pan it where, you know, I mean, like, it's great. Great, great, great chefs. So, when we say chef, we are talking about ones who prepare food with only vegetables. And what them call plant based. And when you eat it as a man who, or a woman who, just take your teeth every day and all them animal and all them something there. You could have a piece of animal you eat. 
the way how it is prepared. Nobody, nobody don't know. I hope that people don't know so you can eat a certain food and things that meat you eat. You know, the vegetarian style. You know, see, I hope that people want to stop eat meat, you know. But to grow up on it so much, them just say, well, well you know, this and that and that. It's when them taste certain food like uh, some nice, well, tofu or uh, some jerk mushroom. And when them taste them, say, what, what is this? What is this? Man, it tastes like some of them cook at the yard, you know. Lie them and tell it to you, you know. It tastes better. <laughs> it tastes better. So, we give thanks. We give thanks. So, we don't know if them depend on the line yet. Oh, them depend on the line yet? No, nobody not going to answer me. We call a brother there to what them say. No, it's not going to all right. Make us safe from the panel line. Good after good night. Good night. No, nobody not there. So make us go and play this stream now. No go and play this stream now. Here we go. Here we present the cutting edge right now. Good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. Yeah, good night. Oh, you the one. Who this? Like Jinga. Like Jinga. Like Jinga. Like Jinga. Ras Gina. Jinga, Jinga. Jinga, Jinga. Spell it. Spell it. Make me hear, Bridging. G-O-G-I-N-G-I-N-G-A. Oh, Jinga. Oh, Jinga. All right. Look here. You are representing Italfred tonight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What is it that you going to do on the festival? It's just a... Are you one of the organizers or one of the shapes then? No, well, it's an no, invitation, well, I, get it's an invitation I get from Greeny. Don't from... forget him back. EL? EL? Come on, let him not get him back, you know. Uh, we yeah, all him, I hear you now. Get him thing together and call forward. So, Hello? We're listening to Dean and Marley. Hello? Yeah, oh, I'm there now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be, I'll, yeah, I'm having some problem here in you. Yeah, you having some problem? Yeah, here in you. Yeah, I'm here in you, you, you that good. I'm here in you that good. Are you hearing me now? Yeah, but it kind of echo in. echo in. Oh, the echo. All right, I did yeah. ask you. Yeah. What is your what is your job in at this Ital Fest? What what you what you doing in Ital Fest? Oh well, um, oh, well um, I get an invitation from Jamaica for the Ital Fest, so and they say they want me to bubble up a Ital in a a cut out and a cut in. So, I know. Nah, you're my girl, you know. Where are you going, man? I'm not here him again. Yeah? Because we don't know where we are going. But, um, yeah, you say, you like, you like explain to me, I didn't ask you, what is your, what is your function in the ITAL face? Yeah, well, I'm telling you, I'm just trying to get. I'm coming in, 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 to the cutting edge in England and even everywhere. No, so you be one of the first man them to put up the cutting edge on YouTube. You understand? And now we see, like when we attack us, so now tomorrow morning, you see it upon the YouTube. But this is the original man who really, you know, one time we had a custom, you know, I say, a bandula business, but it helped. It help, it help to push the program. And I talk about that too. Even right now, the youth, them who are put it on YouTube. It goes so far because people say, boy, the program late at the night and we'll leave other things that I'm not going to mention. But them just waiting at the morning or in the afternoon and just listen to it on YouTube. Well, this man, yeah, 
we got to talk about BC, I'm a brethren. You understand? Jamaican brethren, but him come, come from British. You know, we had him, him not really in, interested in England. I, I mean, Jamaica again. You know, something have to happen to somebody long left him, him run, come long left. But it not take long for run, come up back. Cause him long left that day, I'm not hear from him. You understand? So, why you up Juki? Big up, big up, Mota. It's, will my mother die, you know, and me don't forget to go bury her and cause a lot of stress and things wasn't going too right. That's why I never get to link you down there, you know? Mm -hmm. So. All right. Me mention, before we go into the YouTube thing, me know we say it on farm out there in the coal. <laughs> me want you tell the people them how oh, you get for plant sweet potato and yam and all them something there. <laughs> <laughs> in this freeze up real. I must see bully for white people I come take lessons. <laughs> Mr. Weird. Mr. the man I said all that. I went name the tree. What them what the tree remember say, oh yeah, sell that. Mr. Tree, uh, mango or the aki. The mango aki for most about a hundred dollars you jump hundred pound. Mm. A sucker. <laughs> Basically, you see Russ? <laughs> well, the advertising online the big price so you can compete with the price if you see the price them high you can actually compete with them mm. and that's what I would do but well, you have people up here mango sukato apart from you I, I don't know of anybody you don't know, I know apart you. from the ones who buy them from me oh that's why you can't tell the town shit and get to it <laughs> what are you say? so alright so explain to me what, what drive you for, um, for real gun in a farm in you know, the coal yeah. tell me exactly where, where I go on it's quite simple you know, Come, you know you're a big big artist you know you have number one tune in South Africa <laughs> you have big musician and them something like that. and now me come up here a couple years now I see the man a farm so tell me where I go on in a word it would be Muta Baruka <laughs> we to Muta you did tell me about the farming and I should get involved in farming eh and through me through me the dam um, was growing on a small scale, I decided to go into the tropical things here. Yeah, okay. And, um. But me, I see a plant, you know, tropical things, me see a plant, Virgin. Yeah, tropical things like, um, aki plants and, um, kinet plants, mango oh, plants. Oh, yeah, 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 true, true. yeah. And the, the aki actually come? What do you mean? No, 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 the reason why we say, oh, you mean, because I tell you, say, me, I, I'm not interested in fruit, me interested in selling plants. That's what I'm saying, oh, you mean? Um, what them call them when you put up your place with the plant, them? Uh, plants, house plants, people. No, 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 so them call it, but, so, so, you, oh, so, them no, you don't sell them that way there. That and, way there. Soccer, we call them. Soccer. You sell the soccer. Yeah. And why people come and take the soccer and put on them? Everybody house. buying them now. And because... say, oh my God, it's a beautiful <laughs> farm. What's the old? It's a national tree of Jamaica, Aki. Yes. Well, and some people say, never say. I thought see. it was Aki and Where's the selfish tree? <laughs> <laughs> well, some people never see breadfruit tree. Yeah. Or, uh, Oti apple. Oti tree, yeah. Yeah. So them, them see it now and they say, well, may I have it? And okay. that's why they buy them. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Plants. But them, but them now nah go see the tree. Them now nah go see the I, I, I can't say that because there's a, a, a avocado plant, tree, bigger mm -hmm. than the house in South London. The, it's on YouTube if you type in avocado tree in South London. You see it have about 250 avocado pear upon it and it's England. It, it grow. Grow. Well, me not eat them pear then. So like somebody did something to No, no, no. Yeah, no? Climatize to okay. the weather. All right, come see you, you, you enter a, a punking contest. <laughs> it I was a, it, punking. it wasn't a punking contest, but it was, um, it was a um, what do you call it? Um, produce contest. It's right, right here in Tottenham, still, you know. Mm. A produce, so you can bring any of your produce. Mm. And they will enter it in the competition for you. And me, as I told you, I win three years straight. Mm -hmm. And you said something a while ago, you know, Mota, about people eating vegetable and don't know if it's meat. I come first with Kalalupati. And they don't know where India and then put first prize for meat pie. Meat pie? And they don't tell them, say, I don't know, meat, no pie, meat, It's no, after no. I write up. Me say, no, 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 this is 
just callaloo in there, but make season the callaloo like meat. But okay. when them taste it now, them things are meat. Yeah. Yeah, what about them things are going on now? That's what I'm saying now. You can't get all bacon in, in this, for them called <laughs> so the, grass yeah. beast thing. You know, you know what I see? Let me see it. Yeah, them have bacon. <laughs> them have, um, oh gosh, man, them have so much things that know where all those people who love meat yeah. and want to stop eating meat, but them know what they look. Yeah. The, well, they make it really deceive your eye. When you're going to the Whole Foods, yes, mm. Whole Foods place, you have bacon, but it, it look like bacon. But it it's plant-based. Like but it's not bacon. No, it's plant-based and It's amazing. Mm. They have cheddar cheese. Yeah, it's not it cheese. It look like cheese. Yeah. It tastes like cheese, but not milk no in there. Majority that come, they make the cheese from the cauliflower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, so they have make... Um, Plant no, we are talking about vegeta- vegetarian plant. We never grow, never grow. It making a, we are call it laboratory still. But when it come out, mm. you eat a plant like a broccoli. We never grow. Oh yeah, I've seen the scientific. Yeah, we never things. grow. Yeah. So all the vegetarian get a little, little more. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. I think you have um. Where name the um where where name where they blame for the COVID name again? Gates, Bill Gates buy out a whole heap of the agricultural land in mm. America, and he have a new thing of going there, where he might make false meat. It's not from cow. It's from the stem cell. I don't know where it was stem cell. Well, yeah, I think Some, it's that yeah, yeah, and then produce the meat yeah, from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it tastes like, we're asking of your face, right? It tastes yeah. like meat. So they say, it look like meat. Yeah. You know why not, Ness? If you are eating meat and you are eating something that tastes like meat and look like meat. You ever say, well, I mean, I want to know what kind of meat. People, I believe, they wouldn't want it if they yeah. knew it wasn't the real thing, you know. Well, you say the people, them, call a little party. <laughs> and you never tell them, say, no meat, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, you, you put things in there where make it taste like meat. Yeah. See and when them meat. Just look like meat, but I don't mean no. But you're not saying nothing wrong with that. Well, <laughs> it's it, all right. It's green, all right. you know. I mean, I don't know it's green meat. Right. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Green so, <laughs> so you move from well, well, you know, so you move from it, say. But we know you're the man, a cameraman. You're still there with the camera thing. Well, you know. Yeah, because you, you as you say, you're on YouTube. But, but ex- explain to me now. Oh, when did it start? People, the reason why I talk about the cutting in so tonight is because I hope you have produ- I, 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 I promote a book about the cutting edge. I'm telling you that from now, right? Don't get vexed with me. We have a book up here named Muta Baruka, The Verbal Swordsman, and it's a book about the cutting edge, you understand? And its influence on the world, not just Jamaica. Because they don't even mention Jamaica that more than so. Mm. And it's not some Jamaican come up with it or do it. It's a universe in, in a university of Vienna, in a Austria. See? So the book is here and we're up here promoting the book. So that is why we are talking about it. But we are getting this money have a car. This money has one of the man them where actually put it out there. So my ask say I know. Me never know you from Adams. Me never know you from nowhere. But all of a sudden, me say this thing come up. Every time cutting edge, this come up, cutting edge, and me I say, well, a man, I was interested because him no put in no ads in it, no ads no come in it, and him no miss a beat. And I like them, you know, when me see some people, chop up it. I do them chop it up, and the, when me that say righteous or no, the person no hear it in the next piece. Them just cut it anyway and just take out a whole heap of the main things they will do it. But you know the have it have flow. Oh, me I just wonder, oh, you get all the add them out of it. <laughs> well, uh, due to film, I'm an editor. And having a studio before, I used to edit audio. Mm. So because I was already editing audio in my recording studio, when I was recording the stepping rate, well, the stepping rate never edge, existed. Yeah, it never existed. When I was doing step recording, um, cutting edge, it's the same thing audio. So I could take out adverts, I could take out music mm. and just concentrate on just you. And in a way, 
people never know. A lot of people never know, say, there was music and adverts in a show. Yeah, the show, yeah. And and it's not the copyright. It's not the copyright, yeah. So when they eventually get to get the app back in the day and they could listen to the show, they say, no, man, we don't like it. It, it Four hours oh, too much and it have music. Because they're so used to no music, just straight you talking and your interviews. That's mm-hmm. all them used to from my channel. So other channels now start to copy that. Okay. But that was the way how it used to be back in the day. So as an editor, I could take out music and I could take out the um the, the advertisement. Them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So the next point is now, why you stop? I stop. A lot of people been asking this question. When I say a lot of people, moot, I'm talking what about people call the company to ask me. Yeah, I'm talking about thousands of people. I'm not just saying a whole lot of people. I mean thousands of people. I read some of the comments today. Which the comments only went up today is asking why isn't it stepping raise on cutting edge on my channel anymore? Well, when I stop, it's because I couldn't get the subscription from Irie, which I was getting all the time. Mm. And one time it pay seven times, yes. seven times it pay, and me not get nothing from it. So I keep on asking, people keep on complaining to me. People was even complaining yeah, to you. But you are complaining to me, I mean, tell them, yeah. you know, but me can't do nothing about it. Uh-huh. So. So that is why it stopped. It stopped because I couldn't get it. But look how long now you can't get it. I almost had well, it. Uh, well, this is the point. When it stopped, because it stopped for years, I have not even gone back to look because as far as I'm concerned, it's not going to happen. Not today. Well, last night, I must tell the people them who are asked why do BSA don't have the cutting edge on the, on the, on the, 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 the internet. Last night, I talked to one of the man them, don't have IRA. And them show him how to get it on him, 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 him computer. So, for those of you who've been asking, BSC know how to do it on him computer. And if you don't see him do it, you know, say, I fight him, I fight now. <laughs> you know, see, I just saw. Well, Mota, yeah. I've been trying two days. No, no, it's only minutes. Then all the bridging for the radio station just goes up, bam, 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 him, him, him no, iPad. It, yeah. And, just, and, and but he, he, he's not getting it on his um, Android, and he's not getting it on him. him. But the Android, the brother showed you last night. You yeah, know? but me not get it. It's not the Android. Me want me need it on the laptop to record. Then I'm not tell you off a beat by your laptop. Yeah, but just know, even now the laptop is right there. It's not working. So how the, where, the, where the British get it, man? Tamo D managed to get it on his iPlayer. It's his iThings. iPhone. iPhone. No, no, no iPhone. He get it, man. iPad. No, our iPad. So what, what is the even even him, him Android don't work. So so what is the difference between getting it on the iPad and the the computer? It's different software. But at the at the, at the, at the computer, the version tell you last night. Yeah, I may have used the computer. The with you and, and I listen to him. I'll know the computer the right this time. We can't get it. The so so it, nobody in London can't get it. I'm not gonna say everybody in London, but I'm gonna give you another try. But it's a, it's, 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 it's a complaint I get every time I come up here. You know. Mm. Because even when I say it's it, it all right, no, you don't have to pay. Yeah. You remember the way it's saying you don't have to, yeah, you yeah. have to pay no money. I used to always pay. Yeah, but people still, in you know, England, are complaining to me. Mm. I hope people please say me when I read. People still know. complain to me, Muta. No, I'm not saying that people please say me when I read. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. some go around and call me. Yeah. You understand? Know but when I say, all right, they complain to you. Mm. So, I don't know who don't have to I listen to this. We can make a difference to this. But see, now we're there in the belly of England, you know, where people use the cutting edge as them comfort, like say them they are Jamaica. And I'm me to tell you that. Mm-hmm. Because I'm there five bookstore, a sell book right round and a sign book. And everybody will come in there, say, them listen to the cutting edge, but them can't get it. Mm. I may tell them, say, but you know, have to subscribe, you know, have to pay no money for do it again, you know, because I want to, you know, you have to pay money, you know? Yeah. I think that's seven pound, seven dollar per yeah. month or something. Yeah. All right, well, that done with it now. But, IRFM must know, say, the people, them are ball. So, them can't get IRA. Mm. Is that any other part of the but world? But the brother get, you, you, you understand it, you know, explain to me. I know that I was half here and yeah. half here. Oh, the Virgin just do the same thing and get it on him iPad. 
as I said, South Rio, because they have an Android and they don't come up on him Android. But the brother tell you, say, come up on Android too. You yeah. Know, matter what Android. That, that may I say, mine don't work and the laptop is right there, not working right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. Because we up here promote book and the people, them up here Bex. Bex. I don't matter about them glad with me, I'm going to say, I'm going to do the program live up here today. Yeah. <laughs> they must say, what about that? No, this. No, anyway. We give thanks to the law. We give thanks to uh, As the soon man as we can do it, back, you know. As soon as we can get it back, I will get back on there because people complain about these new people who's putting it up, chopping up the things. You know, the amount of time they, they cut out Mandingo and me vex. Can we want to hear things with Mandingo say? And then Mandingo say, but BSC, I don't chop up my piece. And it's like, them, them have something against him. Them don't even know Mandingo. No, but just, watch just man. You're Mandingo. If Mandingo call the radio and him not get through, and you other people, him say, him have, him have fight <laughs> no, no, him say, him say the operator no, have fight against him. Me explain to him how it goes. Him say the operator have fight against him. I'm many times call. <laughs> and him say the operator have fight against him. The operator have fight against him because <laughs> they don't know him. <laughs> and me tell him, say, put any time you hear man, they go put him through. Mm. See? But I say, go. anyway, you hear what I say now? You see, when you did I do it, mm-hmm. I want you know, say, should I go to jail, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we say, I'll pay, pay your right, huh? <laughs> you, you know, when you are doing it, you know, it's a serious breach. Yeah. Yeah, go on with it, you know. Funny enough, you know, Muta, when Shane was alive. When, when who? Shane. Who named Shane? At, at Shane, not, not Shane, um. My, I kill him. Where's a young? Where's him son name? Chad. Chad. When Chad was alive, him lock off everybody and him never lock me off. Oh yeah? He lock off every one of them, he never lock me off. He right down to Roman Green. And them never trouble me. Ah, uh, Roman, you may not see him again, you may not no, see him on the internet no. again. I don't understand that, because he's in America and he can get it. No, me used to talk to him. No, where where you say, Mr. Chad never lock you off? No, I you don't understand. Him yet? You no, I, 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 why didn't he, why he cut off everybody and he never cut off me? Yeah, is but me never is, cut you off neither. No, but is, is it because I was putting you up? That's why I never cut you off? Me no know. But I never cut you off. <laughs> well, I don't you know if it's because you put me up. <laughs> but you never cut me off. I never, I never, I never cut off nobody. Yeah. Women are like when you use them. We have a break, yeah. We have got through too far. I don't know how to take the break, you know. We have got to the break and come far. <laughs> yes. yes. And we have Duke B.S. in the house. We talk about the cutting edge. Yeah. Cutting As we edge. said before, when we start the program, we actually they have promote a book. We come out on the cutting edge. You know, see it? And the impact we have upon the world. Yeah. And when we say the world, we actually mean the world. And I'm going to take, basically tell you why. I said that now, basically. <laughs> years ago, me and you talk, and you show me which part and which part the cutting edge reach. And you show me some countries, and you show me the, the volume of people we are listening. Oh, you do them thing there. Tell the people, oh, 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 yeah. Well, me know you have people for the, the, we have for the but tell me where, where, oh, you do it. It's not me. Oh, you mean I know you? It's literally. They know you to, show me. Today, today we can now call that. AI, artificial intelligence, because it's the amount of girls between the age of 10 to 16, the mm. amount of girls between yeah, the age of... In a Jamaica, with good, the, so, the, 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 them call it, the poles. Yeah, so you get all these different countries, and it's all split up, how much the minutes they listen to it, if they listen to the whole show, it's literally the artificial intelligence that they, they, they have, yeah, they get yeah, all yeah, of these yeah. things. So I get a thing on the back of the YouTube where you can now look how many people has hit, how many people has give comments, how many people, what age they are, which countries are there. And then this is now when you're starting to see the millions. Remember, it's millions of people those days that we was actually looking at who's hitting. You know, I mean, I forget almost millions. Of them, like 10 million, they tell me. It got, it got over that? Yeah, when, it, when you tell me, they say 10 million are listening yeah. to it. Yeah, all right. So they said them do that now as a survey. Mm. So we we actually have now there's much more people that is the continent outside of Jamaica. Definitely. Than in our Jamaica. Definitely. All right. The, the country by country. Come in on say you, you, you set it out where, you know, <laughs> this is a country I listen almost for people yeah. that are early time. Just like what they do with the the the, 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 the poll them yeah. in, a, in a Jamaica when the radio poll them come out, mm. them said not Jamaica IFM is number one. And then them show you between Monday 
what time to what time, yeah. this amount of people are listening. And you know, let them hear the, and you show me the same thing yeah. worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, 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 that go. Tell me how that go. It literally is a part of the, um, the part of YouTube. Them call it, um, oh, there's a word that they use when they're using all these numbers and everything. Oh, I can't remember the word they use. Yeah, well, man. Statistics. Statistics, but there's another word. Yeah. There's yeah. another word, um, which By the way, people, um, YouTube have a slight, um, YouTube have a slight Alzheimer's, <laughs> um, thing popping in. And I might tell them why I said that too. Yeah, because I'm, 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 me, 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 have it. Yeah. And two, we have it. No, anyway, water, water, water. <laughs> so saying, um, there's, there's the countries and everything is already laid out mm. in YouTube. So when somebody join YouTube, mm -hmm. they join in from a country. So mm -hmm. now that country comes up. They join in from a certain age group. So the age group comes up. So this is how the countries, um, I was able to show you in alphabetical order, all these different, different, different countries, how much people in those countries are showing you all of that. So that is a part of the, um, yeah. the, the system in YouTube. As a channel owner, you're supposed to be able to go in there. And see. And see how many people and how many different parts of the world where your stuff is going. Well, but I, say, I, 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 I was amazed. I was amazed when you saw this thing. That me and my lady talk, and I say, you know, it's amazing that young people are in a Vietnam. Mm -hmm. I listen to the program and I love it. I'm on car, and I say, you know, I'm listen to continent and it make him learn Jamaican language. <laughs> <laughs> so they kind of weird. One brother called me from Afghanistan, say my Jamaican. He said, Muta, the Taliban, them love the program. He said, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm So, yes, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, think, I guess that is why the professor tells you themselves about study it. Yeah, you see, cutting edge, people don't understand. Cutting edge is not just a radio show. It is a university. Yeah. It is a university. We have, we have, we have a jingle we say it. Well, it's a university, and where the university come in now is where some people don't have certain knowledge, and then they're hearing it on the show. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a break and come forward. Cutting Edge, RFM, on the Cutting Edge in England. It's talking about the Cutting Edge. <laughs> you can't believe that. And we just are talking about the impact of the program worldwide. And believe you me, me come here so come see it on the ground. Not just come do a poetry reading and go back to Jamaica or go to a next city. But with there, a, 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 what do you call it? A sign autograph in a book. Mm. And I mingle with the people them. And hear the voice of the people them. And how them react to the program. So, we know so a whole heap of people we get we get a reaction like that in a Jamaica too, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially amongst the youth them. When them see me, you know, it's like, yes, bloody, no yeah. respect and re, 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 you know see it. But Anya Sorasa, believe you me, Anya so I had some little daughter with them eyelash gone over there, so if them come too near me, them could have juke me with them <laughs> eyelash. So well, before the you yeah, have the internet I remember you used to say a lot of things and people said, Mota, madman, where you get them things they're from? And sometimes you used to be reading a newspaper from, from somewhere. And what has happened now, today, because of technology, yeah, the, the, people are now seeing what you're saying, we no say, far-fetched. Yeah, and, and, and me no, me no, me no matter again. Don't part of me matter to me now, no choice. Yeah. So all what you were saying before and them saying was mad. Now they are green. Like, and yeah. they can go up on the internet and research and say, yeah, you see what Muta tell me? I see it there. Yeah, yeah. And this is what now why I say cutting edge is an important thing. I told you the first time when I come to um, Ivory Femina and I said, it's important. That's why I put it up. I said, it's more important than people think. Mm. And now today, we have a book. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. it wasn't important, you think you could have a book? Yeah, me, see how that book selling, the, the, the book signing down a Pimpanzi, mm. down a Waltham Soho Street. Yeah. And that, when it gone, it gone. Yes. If yeah. Cutting Edge didn't have any impact, you'd, you'd be walking mm. back with the book then. But the book them sell off. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a serious thing. Brethren, as I say, we give thanks for our for teeth to cut in it so much years, you know, and put it on the internet. You know, yeah. it, it, it's really wonderful. A good teeth. 
<laughs> well, I'm coming back. We are going to eat. All yeah. of them boys, they, 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 they put up the little cup of, chop up, chop up thing. I'm coming back and I'm going to lock them off to your weight. <laughs> yeah, the one, the one. I lock them off. That's why I got him on the thing. Anyway, we can talk. Yeah. And continue with the farming, you know. Nah, stop. Because you see now, it's very real. You see how the continent make your farm mm. in England. Mm. So it must have an impact that way there. Yeah, I'm a feel we try to have my own program. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we feel that we try to have my own program. You know, so I'm a virgin down at work, I read. They must say, Muta, how oh, you not play a tune them? And me, I say, well, I'm not really feeling. I say, what do you say? I hear a program, you know, I say, you have to play a tune them. And I think both the time I go to my wife, and I say, well, you know, I say, I kind of feel that way if you have play a tune them. And then she said, but nobody else now play it. <laughs> we just say, all right. So between the bridge and the highway, and she, me just decided, say, you know, something I will play my tune then. You understand? Anyway. So we're there with you, cutting it style, as we say, with a special, special one radio. Okay. So, here we are going as so you now. We know all the things that take place in our Jamaica, you know, but to we are Jamaica, we talk so much about the Jamaican things. We are here so now, so we have to talk about the Anya things. Because we well, have news on here, so we nobody not nah hear about it. You know, see it? And true, everybody stuck on certain channel. It come like, say, no way it's not, have no, 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 um, no news for share with the people them. But we know the news there. And we always search and I find the news them. And sometimes when we see the news too, people say, when we get them news, they travel. But true, they never see it on CNN and BBC. A virgin coming out, a virgin ears me in at the, 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 the shop. And when him come in there, all him cannot say, him work with BBC, him work with BBC. So him I try to impress everybody and say, him work with BBC. But him will say, we not get hype up over BBC. You know what I'm saying? We not really interested in that. But we watch BBC still. But you have alternative radio where give you more Outlook on the other side, like democracy now. Me know say democracy now is a liberal radio station, Pacific radio where we can listen. And then you have Al Jazeera, yes. the Arab news news there, where you can show you the other side too. So when we talk in a Jamaica, most of the time we talk about the politics that go on in a Jamaica and whatsoever, but. But they are England, you know. So I want to shed some light, man. Actually, we are going in England, you know, and cross the other side of England, which is Europe. Because enough things are going. And if you go far, you know, you go way over into Africa, North East Africa, what they call Asia Minor, what they call Palestine, what they call Israel. And when you say Africa, them places there. It's just a Swiss Canal divide up right there, so. But Africa, you know, see, them come take away the land and brand it like says a European land. Just like all the Arab, them take away Egypt and brand it like it's an Arab country. And then them spread Islam right across North Africa. Till the years, you know, it's mostly Muslim today and Arab. My favorite place, one of my favorite places, if you say about my top five places, I'm go. I call Morocco. And when you go to Morocco, it's an Arab country. You know, see, it's, it's them talk Arabic. Them talk English too, you know, but them talk Arabic. And I say, oh, the L, not Africa becomes so Arabic. When you have some black people there, where the Arab them come and enslave them, and the only thing is that the Arab them never take them from Africa. But the, the Arab them make sure say if the people them is Arabic, then the land with them depend going to be Arabic too. So them never they take we and carry across now we and go say, but you have Arabs, you have Africans who take Africans and carry go Arabia and carry go Mecca. And we are talking about Mansa Musa. We hear Wooly Paman a big up on this and that to say, the richest man on earth. But him is one of them man that will help the Arabs them for enslave Africans. 
Just like how you have a whole heap of Arab minded African black, black, black matter. We all on pan Islam. We enslave Africans and help white people to carry come across us all. And if you doubt me, go amongst the, go amongst the, 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 the maroon them. Where them call themselves maroon. And listen to the language. A woolly part is, uh, is embedded in Arabic. Them say salam alaikum, same way like the Arab them. How did Ara Arab language find itself in the Coromante um, language and in the language them from the, the Moor town and Charleston maroon them? It's because you didn't have Africans who never see themselves as African, but see themselves as Muslims. And anybody is not Muslims, it's infidels. That is where it's going now. It's not no joke business we are talking you know. You have, uh, just like how you have Christian and you can't tell them to them African. They are Christian. They are, you know, no African thing. You understand? Well, it seems we did have Africans. Even now, come go to Senegal, go see it. Come go to Senegal, go see it. Come and ask the Senegalese, say, tell me something. Oh, you is a African and you have an Arab name. You understand? Because them change them name from African name to Muslim name. Ali Some name there, yeah, say, but oh, people are say African name hard for, 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 for call. When you hear the man, them, it's like them have cold that them throat when they call it, you know, see it. And when we ask the man, it's, 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 the other side is also true, you know. When we go to Ghana, I drive in a taxi, you know, and see a man have a, a picture of Jesus in a the front windshield. And it has swing. You know, where I'm hung up the, the, the sweet, sweet thing up there. And it, it has swing so. And Mr. Bridget, you're not afraid of crash or stuff. You know, see the thing has swing in front of your face. Him saying, Father, the white Jesus, you know, a swing in front of him, you know. It, it, it's supposed to protect him from crash, you know. <laughs> I put to him say, yes, it's him father. So, anytime a man take up the religion of these people, him cease becoming who him is. And that we always, always I say. And the more me go out there, is the more me see say, when me I say, it's true. And if you don't even go out there, and you're there Jamaica, if you're there Trinidad, any Caribbean island, from a man say, he's a Christian, I have no race in him, no, not that too. Because I'm putting Christian thinking above him nationality. You know, see? And that is right, that's so how you know, say, him gone. But the same way with Islam. From a man, say, he's Muslim. He's he, he not nothing with Africa. If, if you're not Muslim, he's an infidel. If you're not Christian, you worship Satan. One religion can't save the world. I just that me I tell the people them one religion can't run the world. We go and take a stock and come forward. Yes, go through break time. Can't run the world because religion come from culture. All religions is defined through the culture of the people them, and most places where you go. The culture breed a way of seeing and understanding the things that you are seeing and unseen. That is really what it is all about. So when you go to China, the man them refer to certain things because it comes out of them cultural experience. Just like oh, when you hear about the Jews, uh, Judaism, it comes from a certain cult. All religion come from culture. Every, as a matter of fact, every discipline come from culture. Social breeding come from culture. Anthropology come from culture. Religion come from culture. Them now tell the people them that. That is why everybody, the culture where they find them and the religion is the culture of the colonizer. The colonizer is the ones who define Oh, you think, oh, you believe things. 
the reality, the logic, so you find yourself a, a project for yourself. So you can't tell a Christian, say, watch out, what you have say, I know you really, I do it, you know. It's something where it's embedded and imprinted like you for hundreds of years. And now it's in your DNA. And it's only a COVID vaccine can't take it out. You understand? So, it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. So, right, we we'll go through all of that epistle. And we are telling you, say, yeah, we're there, I promote this book and thing. We have a bridge in here where most people hear we I talk to on the cutting edge most night, but we call late. So we talk all a little 10 minutes and talk, and as I'm ready to say exactly what I want to say, we are saying, why, man, thing got time to go away, you know. <laughs> Every time, you know, we are saying, why, but you call too late, Bridget. Because sometimes I'm getting a certain reason about England. Because basically, we really want to tell me, we are going on here, so. Because that man, we're up to date with things. But so sometimes I think we're going to go in so. It's time to go away, you understand? So, we don't know how long we'll give him tonight. Because we still want to connect to them people if it can work out. But we want to heal up Mandingo. And before we bring in Mandingo, we want to go in with, with the tune that we look for. Okay, we, we want to play this tune here, as we have said. <laughs> uh, a, yeah. mm, mm. All right, make a look for the tune. I mean, I really want to make a talk. Because we see some things are going on in Africa yeah, right now. We see the movement of the French out of Africa. And we don't know how long it's going to last. But we say, a whole heap of the domino, them a fall. It a go cross. You know, we say Mali. We say Niger. We say Togo. We say, um, Gabon. I think we are here things about Burkina Faso and Tunisia. It's a serious thing going on in Africa. Never before we see so much things where people, the African leader, them say, watch out, leave, yeah. leave, leave a country. You have been, you have been sucking dick dry for so long. You have to leave. And guess what? Them serious. Cause you have some future right now where, 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 where cool them. Where them man there, them now follow the old one them. Where did I get study in a Europe and come back, come and go like Africa, Europe? Them you, they know, they in the, 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 the root, I like Winnie Mandela. Where they in the, 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 the people, them, with the people, them. And the side say, where she not going to deal with certain things. Well, some of them you, you know, them decide, say, them not deal with certain things. So you want to know, we are telling the French to them to leave. And the same thing I go on in the IT. We don't tell you about gang this and gang that. We know say a gang this, you know, because after a while, you know, if you don't have a, a steady movement of a spirit of leadership to stir the revolution, you have some little ticks. we all over the place. We are create mischief and decry and make the thing look like, say, it do have a value. And right now in our year, we see that happen. There is certain things that is necessary to be done. But how is it been done by certain ones in IT? It loses its credibility because of who take over the scene. And as well as a gang, gang take it over, I don't call people them gang. But the credibility kind of get moved away because of how the thing I go. And these countries love to see that, you know. Yeah, because it, it start out, I say, you no, know, we don't want them, where them puppet there, you know, that's that. But as we have said, it's stir and gone, stir and gone, stir and gone. Said America now said they are going there. And even Jamaica, can you believe that? Jamaica will have the biggest murder rate. If the top two biggest murder rate in the world, and they will not have no civil civil war. You know, see, say they are going down there, go stabilize country. We see Kenya say they are going down there, and the, the parliament say no. We don't have that. We could police our soldiers them stay in Kenya. We have our problem up here, so. You know, see it? 
Now we see Jamaica, no matter what they send people, where they send people down the far. Because civilized country. The people, them know what is happening. Them know what is happening. But uh, in, in a revolution, so what revolution, they them hungry. And they will do anything to get food. I will show you go so again. <laughs> yeah, you have a show, a regular show, no go so. But the people, yeah, something like that. Yeah. The people, them hungry, Rasta. Them hungry, so they will do certain things. And when you, when, 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 when the, when the newspaper them blow it up, it come like this is the thing, a go on, and not the other thing. Because the other thing is not being projected out there. It's so it go all the while. It's so it go all the while. Then I hear me hear the, the, the Israeli them drop a bomb in a church, in a church, in a, in a hospital. And them say 500 people dead. And I say, rotted. 500 people dead. It's wicked, you know. But here was the wickedest part of it. The man, the, what name? Netanyahu. 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 In company TV and tell the people them say, well, we have gotten one of the main Hamas leaders. You know where we got him? After them bomb the hospital, you know, and kill the 500 people, you know, because you know, the man, them have moved underground, you know. Them have tunnel underground, you know. And some of them run under the mask. Some of them run under church. Some of them run under hospital. The man them bombed the church, the 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 the, 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 the hospital, and then put it on the news. Say, them get one of the main leaders of Hamas. So where are where those those people, those Palestinians, who five hundred people who have family, when them see that happen, where them to do? When them see them building them a tear down and turn to rubble, where them not have nothing. When them are move them more and more to the sea, where the people they must do. When them are tell you say, boy, you know, they come into Israel and kill one thousand odd people. That is savagery. Who never listen to the news, the foreign news they might hear how much Palestinians dead since the year start by Israeli soldiers. How much people know, say, it's not the other day when the 1,000 had Israelis killed. Is it thousands of Palestinians who was killed and the world just sat and watch? You know, see, and I call people them terrorists. Mandela was a terrorist according to America. Winnie Mandela was a terrorist. According to America, the IRA was terrorist organization. When we just come to England, every time I go in the, the two me hear them I say, um, we are closing off such and such a thing because bomb scare. Mr. England, but they are not bomb scare me I hear about. Is the IRA. Irish Republican Army did a wreck of up and on and so. Them say that terrorists now who rule the country? Who rule IRA? Who, who rule Ireland? Are the same people them who was terrorists around the thing? Them say Gaddafi was a terrorist and them bomb up the whole of the place. You have no government long there. You have no government long there, you know. Every little pocket of place have gov- is a government to themselves. You know where Obama said, him said, one well, greatest mistake is that him go bomb the place and never have nothing to put in place of it. All them didn't want to get you like a half But when them get you like a half and bomb up the place, what is it them looking for to happen? In Iraq, them do the same thing. Them also give Saddam Hussein guns and ammunition to fight against Iran. Iran, I, 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 Iraq did a fight a while, you know. And Iraq was backed by America. 
So Saddam Hussein now become a man and say, well, all right, well, we're done with that now. In America, it's all right, give thanks, go on. Them just turn upon him and say him is a terrorist. And them bomb up and mash up the place. And up to this day, Iraq now fix back. Them go in Afghanistan and say them I look for terrorists. Bomb up all the cave, them and all them way there. They make some guys come in at the thing named Taliban and ISIS and all these places rise up. And them run left the place after them mash up the place. Them run left it 20 years them there. there. And they see a man them come back, come take over the place and start going worse than where them did have gone before the American them go there. You understand? But okay. we know who are looking for these things supposed to say, why well, them people they will be killing our ass Because them just kill this and kill this. Uh. But what about the land? Yeah, blessed. Blessed Muta. You have to talk louder. Blessed, you hear me? Yeah, me I hear you. Yeah. Me, me keep back and I watch. Emperor Ailey Selassie words are come to pass until the philosophy that's all one way yes. inferior and another inferior. inferior everywhere will be war this ideal what people have to say them bigger than other people. I care zero whether them black, white, purple, or pink black, wants white, to feel like a bigger than people. Feel like a bigger than people. You understand? You understand? Man, you yeah, have yeah. a conflict of interest and you have always a war. That's what we start on. So what, what, what's the solution? What's the solution? The solution is, the solution is, the solution is all human beings, the solution is, the solution is equal rights equal and justice right and for all because, because you can't tell me, say, tell even me though we condemn with Hamas, though, we even though me not go call Hamas no terrorists, no, we still are call them freedom fighters, freedom but circumstances freedom. make them up to the wrong thing. You understand? Unless them can yeah. come to the United Nations and the new people of the world can come together and say, listen to me, I must do wrong, but you know the worst. Over 10,500 people dead. You understand? And over much of them, majority of women and children. This ethnic yeah. cleansing and yeah. thing. The world have to come together. They have to protect America out of the negotiation and the Western England and all of them people there. When I can them where um Israel I do and the rhetoric we are come from the leaders of Israel, especially when they're quoting some genocide part of the Bible. You understand? That's the only solution. The world have to come together and say, listen to me, stop. And yeah, you have yeah, to have yeah, people yeah. go up on the ground and decide to listen to me. If you want to one of people, and we say, we are, we are, we are carry humanitarian things with people. You, you, you respond just like all them do. You understand? Yeah. And a mass mandate needs to change too. Because violence don't bring peace. You yeah, need to go up on a negotiation, negotiating table. You understand? You understand? Yeah. You hear me? Bridget. All right, yes, sir. I guess most one would agree with you still. But the, uh, the thing you say, we forget to come together and have peace and love. That's a thing I echo for a long time, you know, Bridget. I know the people who get wicked to one another. Governments and governments. I get wicked to one another. So I don't know. I don't know how it go. I don't know how it go. Anyway, give thanks. Give thanks. All right. We'll come back to this soon and see what I'm going on. Mm-hmm. It's very program. It's very program. Um, 
all most time in them late hours. Why you love Mandingo? Greetings. Ujambo, greetings, Muta. Mm. <laughs> Here we are in London. Yeah, last Again. night. Well, that's style, a style, you know? Flavor. Flavor. F-L-A-V-A. Last night, we did the pump flavor with Mandingo. We have a program for a station in Flavor. We did the pump Flavor Radio. Flavor Radio, Mandingo program. And it was like, not them hours there, a little earlier mm-hmm. than them hours there. So, so Mandingo is a man we always call in when the program nearly done. Him there now, so we can talk, have a conversation. Yellow. Yellow. Let me clarify. A lot of times I call earlier, but I have to be waiting on the operator. And sometimes the operator have been holding and sometimes the operator does not answer. So it's not that I deliberately call late, but that is the situation of yeah. people. All right. You know, usually we call you upon things that are going on in England. Because sometimes we don't really are reading Guardians and all that. You know, we we'll read them still, but mm-hmm. and what BBC, but mm-hmm. we like to hear from one of us. Mm-hmm. Who can. We have to tell you, say, <laughs> we want to hear another level. That is really what we are looking for. Another level from ones and ones who they on the ground. So that is really why I hold up a time for one year where I go on in England. See? So now that we in England with the eye now, tell me where I go on in England. Yes, well, what is going on in England is a continuation of the racism that has faced African people ever since British imperialism invaded our African motherland and brought our ancestors as prisoners of war to the Caribbean and elsewhere. And the British Empire was the biggest empire in history, which means that they committed the biggest genocidal holocaust murders. And up to now, they have not been brought to justice. And whenever we as Africans talk about reparations, they don't want to deal with the issue of reparations. Yet, European Jews have gotten reparations and even Japanese and many others have gotten reparations. But when it comes on to our African race, they don't want to give us reparations. But reparations, as Marcus Garvey Jr., the son of Marcus Garvey, who was my physics teacher at Kinston Technical, and who greatly inspired myself and Muta Baruka and others at Kinston Technical, Stucky Smith and others, to be strong Pan-Africanists. As always said, that reparations is something, is our right, and we have to acquire the necessary military and economic power to get reparations because our enemies will not pay reparations willingly. As his father said, power is the only argument that satisfies man because man is not moved by um, prayer, petitions and begging and that type of thing. Power is the only argument and a race without authority and power is a race without respect. So we Overstand what Marcus Garvey Jr. and his father said that we as Africans, for us to get our rights, we have to acquire the necessary economic and military power to force those who transgress against our ancestors and us in this time to pay for what they have done. To our people. And of course, we know in every war situation, the fight is always on two fronts. There are the external enemies who we know, be they Arab Muslims or European Christians, for example. And they are always the traitors. This is so in every race. But as an African from Jamaica, I'm talking about our race. So the internal enemies are always 
the traitors that we have to be fighting against to destroy as we fight against their masters, the external enemies. And Muta, I am so glad that you spoke about religion, whereby we have Africans who put, they are so mentally enslaved, whereby they put the religion of our racist enemies before the interests of their race. So, Yes, we want to come forward to Mandingo, but you know we have to take a break. Right, yes, so, but we still want him to tell you what we are going in England. You understand? Yes, so, we want to take the break and come forward. Your turn, DJ, come on. Radio. Yes, Mandingo. Yes, um, before I, I'm just gonna finish off with the Arab thing. The thing about it is that whenever Africans put their foreign religions before their race, they are automatically traitors. So you find Africans who are Muslims put Islam and put their Arab um, co-religionists before other Africans. And Africans who are Christians, they do the same thing. They put their Christianity before. No one was born Christian or Muslim. And what the Arabs and Europeans have done is that they have used their Christian and Islamic religions to culturally manipulate and control African people. So, for example, Christian name, there is no such thing as a Christian name. It's European names, cultural imperialism, using religion. Muslim name, there is no such thing as a Muslim name. There are Arab names. Muta was talking about this earlier. So you have Africans getting rid of their African names and taking European names and Arab names under the guise of being Christian or Muslim. We must practice our African religions, be it voodoo or whatever, whereby we retain our cultural and mental identity as Africans. Because religion of the racist enemies is a mental tool of enslavement for our people. And finally, where that is concerned, Gaddafi is no leader for me as an African, as a Marcus Garvey man, a Pan-Africanist. Gaddafi, like Nasser, who was his idol, was a pan arabist And when the other Arabs refused for him to succeed as Nasser's successor, as the number one pan arabist he turned to our African people, to try to use our people. And his intention, just like the Europeans, their arrivals, was to control and conquer Africa. A lot of the jihadist groups in Nigeria and elsewhere in Africa were armed by Gaddafi. And so the rivalry between these Europeans and these Arabs is over who should control our African motherland. And we who are Pan-Africanists will not allow these non-Africans to control our thing. Can you imagine you have more Arabs in North Africa than in Arabia? How did they get there? Conquest, enslavement of our ancestors, etc. And finally, go on YouTube and check out the Arab slave trade by Marcus Garvey Jr., Muta and I is teacher at Kinson Technical High School, where you will get a full history of what Arab, Muslims, European Christians, and Jewish enslavers, all three of them have done to our African people. And they all owe us reparations. Talking about England right now, Britain, the main problem is that the vast majority of our youths are in a state of serious mental confusion and also in a state whereby because of this mental confusion, because of the racist educational system, they have low self-esteem. And part of the result of this is the um, large amounts of fatal stabbings of African youths, of other African youths. Now, some of our African youths are good. Not all of them are bad. 
But a lot of them are in need of serious help because they have been destructive to our African community. And one of the reasons for that is that since Margaret Thatcher got rid of the youth clubs that used to be able to engage our youths in constructive activities, both boys and girls, that no longer exists. Duke Basie is agreeing with because he knows this is true. When we used to have the youth clubs that could engage our young African boys and girls in, in, in England and so on, there was not this um, epidemic of internal violence by our youths. Yes, there was some violence, but not on the scale as we, we have it. Because the parents do not have time to cater and to guide and direct their youths. And the youth clubs used to fulfill that role. And some of these youth clubs were run by some of our people. So there were positive models where that is concerned. So this is a very serious problem. And then there's the other problem of police who are racist, who attack Injure, and in some cases, some of our youths die, whether they are boys or girls, as a result of police brutality. We had Chris Carber just over a year ago who was shot. He was totally unarmed, shot dead, one shot in the head. He was posing no threat. He was surrounded by the police and he was killed. The police guy who did that because of pressure by our community is facing charges of murder. But many of our people, men and women, boys and girls, we remember Joy Gardner in North London who was killed in front of her little infant son. We remember these things. And my brethren, Anthony Lemard, crumpet from Halsden, who the police claimed choked on his own vomit. How did he choke on his so-called own vomit? Because they choked him. There are countless examples of this type of racist thing and the police have gotten off where that is concerned. And do you know that when that police guy was charged for, you know, he's going to face charge for the murder of Chris Cabba in Streatham, that the armed police in London went on strike saying that they are not going to carry out their armed duties because one of their number has been charged with the murder of Chris Cabba. So you see, it has been a culture of racist impunity where the police are supposed to be able to kill and get away with it. Mark Duggan in Tottenham, Broadwater Farm area, he posed no threat, he had nothing on him, and yet... He was shot and killed. And the people rose up. And they rose up because the local MP at the time, David Lamy, he did not attend to the cries and needs of the people at the time. And so the people revolted. And yet he was the MP for the area. And I see whereby David Lamy is more interested in what is going on in Palestine supporting the Israelis than he is in seeing about the racism that has killed and has made life very hard for our African people in Britain. It's a very, very serious problem. Muta, you have been coming here for many, many years. But, you, you know, um, so you know that some of the things that you hear that I'm talking about, you are familiar with. And you said something which is true. While you listen to BBC, read The Guardian and these papers and that type of thing, you read them with reservations and you scrutinize them because you know they only push their own interests. They hide the news that they want to hide from our people and promote the lies that they want to promote. I remember Marcus Garvey Jr. said that the biggest propagandists in history to give false propaganda are the British and that the BBC is their biggest organ of public 
this information. Marcus Garvey Jr. told me and others that at Kinson Technical High School in the 60s, before I came to this country. So I was aware of the role. And Muta, you know, for years we growing up in Jamaica, every 8 o'clock, what we used to hear in the morning, 8 o'clock, BBC, World News. And so many of our people swore anything they heard on the 8 o'clock, BBC, World News at 8 o'clock Jamaica time. They believe that it was gospel. And if you and I as Africans told them the truth, they said, no, 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 because the BBC never said that. How oh, foolish. Yes. Do you expect yes. your enemy well, to talk the truth? Yeah, well, we work it out and find out, say, a lot of these news that come out is not to tell the people them the truth. It's to make the side that these people is um, with. You know, it's a propaganda machine it is to maintain a certain position. You know, understand? And when you look, you see the position has been saved. You know, one thing where does happened the other day is, is to make mention of the, the first time this war started with the Palestinian and the Israeli them. We hear of some of the Palestinian them chopping off children head Bearding. and put them in cage and light them up fire mm. we hear that and for about a week it a go on and all you could have hear on the news even the president of America mentioned it couple and not even a couple weeks you know more than a week or two three weeks ago some people do some investigation in it and say no no go so there's no baby down there. We have no head and I get chopped over anything there. Tell me, I say, what me, your big guys, them, I mention it. I mean, I say, they mean, say, them could have saw brazen to tell the world, say this happened. And that give the people them more, get more anger and anger against the Palestinian them. When them look on them TV, I hear man, I say, children were burned in cage. It's like the time when them go to uh, Iraq and tell you, say, mm, weapons of mass destruction and Saddam Hussein, the, that, that Saddam Hussein, Colin Powell, chief of staff, say, a, a show of graphic pictures of how the Saddam Hussein government and moved the weapons of mass destruction that when you see them I do it, you can't deny it, say, no, no, go so. Everybody say, but we see there, see, see, calling for that show, we, how they move the things, them, and them go this and go that. And when you hear from the show, it's a lie. No, no, go so. If you did tell the people, them, just now, man, they say, you really believe this, man, or man, so say, yes, then we don't see it on the TV. Where you see it? American imperialism propaganda machinery at work. So when we look now, I will say, really and truly, why would I say, we don't know what we are saying. Come we looking at Haiti and say the same thing that happened with Haiti mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Same thing, you can't tell nobody, even the government of Jamaica now let Asian people mm-hmm. come find refugee in, a, in a Haiti. Imagine that. Them have asked us a laws and regulations, we are sure you say. Yeah. And the man... Them say one of the boat them, the captain of the boat is a repeat offender to Jamaican waters by coming there continuously with refugees or people. In other words, they must say, instigate and insinuate, say, maybe these people was bringing in things like guns and all these things. The gun them done in Jamaica already, you know. Mm-hmm. You have some gun in Jamaica we're not use yet, you know. Mm-hmm. But they are three, four years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's not used yet. And you're the Minister of National Security, say. 200 guns are coming there per month. <laughs> I mean, no time from the year start, them not find 200 guns. <laughs> Maybe them pick up them things now and I find even more. But from man said that years ago, him said that, you know. I'm saying years ago, a little before the COVID. Him say 200 guns. It's, it's, it's intelligence. <laughs> 
You hear them call it intelligence. That means you can't deny it. It's most true. I them intelligence. Guys. Them say intelligence. Say them say 200 guns is coming in the country every month. And from that time to now, me never hear them find 400 guns in that six weeks yet, mm. six months yet. But me know say the gun them dead there. Eh? Mm-hmm. So yeah, if the if him know if intelligence tell him say 200 guns are coming per month. Mm. Oh, come him not get 199 out of them. And him know. And him know. Because, wait, let them not know. Him say him intelligent. Him never say, I believe mm, him say him that Jesus Christ is coming and do it. I say, you believe that? No, no, go so. Mm, him say, him know. Him say, him know. I must trust them because them is the people them who will look to to guide and protect the democracy of the country and them things like so. But him now recover them. I want, I, want, I want to talk to you about something. Mm. Recently, we see, it's like what I mean, it's like what I mean, I made a while ago and come out of me. In, in, in England, in the English, the, 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 the stabbing up thing, the stabbing up yes. thing. The stabbing up thing is, is long time I hear talk about, even before COVID, we hear talk about yes, yes, yes. All right. What is it that the, all right, we, we hear a man in a Jamaica shoot a man. And it's either revenge or a man have something for him and him just says he want it and the man not give him. And so it's like gang war. You know, man just fire shot up a man because they want to kill one man. Just like Israeli them. Them say man, four men have played domino a bar and one man in there is the man will trouble them. And them just part on a bike and fire shot in there. Most of the time, the three men, them with the double six dead and the one man who they want to kill get away. You understand? It's like a, it's a pillion and dry rider. Most of the pillion get dead quicker than the, the rider. So when I say this or no, what is it that is driving these black youth? Come up and say black youth. Mm-hmm. To really continue this thing. Because it's still in America, it's still in England. Yeah, so. Why is it so widespread that you just a pass you try to stop man and run God? Tell me. As I mentioned, with the closure of the youth clubs by Margaret Thatcher in the 1980s, it can be traced, as I said, things used to happen before in the 60s and 70s. But in the 1980s, I as a journalist and historian can tell you that with the closure of the youth clubs and no adequate outlets for the youths in the 1980s onwards to now the youths without direction and so on a lot of them became manipulated by older members of the community who are into criminality and into what they call post-code rivalry so in other words, a youth, youths from Wood Green, for example, just an argument say, would say that they are in war with youths from Tottenham because they are different areas. Youths from Peckham would be at war with youths from Brixton. You even have a situation where parts of Brixton, some of the youths are at war with other youths in other parts of Brixton. That, that type of situation you find you, you 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 find all over over in in um in in in, in halls and stonebridge st raphael's estate you find that youths for example at church road in halls then are at war with youths in stonebridge because those youths are from stonebridge and youths from st raphael's estate I'm just calling some names as an example. This type of thing. And it happens in Birmingham too and so on. And a lot used to happen like that in Manchester. That they call Manchester. Gunchester. There, there was that situation that a lot of the youths in different areas. Massai, Cheetah Mill and that type of thing. And what it is, is that the only solution to this type of thing is that the African adults, parents, and so on. We have to engage with our youths and get our youths together in community events 
to create a harmonious way of living because we cannot ignore our youths. They are our youths. And it is not in the interest of the police and it is not the duty of non-Africans to see about the problems of violence of our youths. They are not interested. It's not their business. The Indians see about their affairs. The Chinese see about their affairs. The English see about their affairs. It is us as African parents in Britain to see about our youths. And we have to engage with them. Some of our adults will say, boy, I don't want to. Boy, I'm afraid to talk to them youths and things. But if you are afraid to engage and so on with your youths, then there is no hope and it's further destruction in our community. I and other Africans who are conscious of this responsibility always do as much as we can to engage with our youths because we cannot adopt a standoff attitude because what affects our youths affects us. Because this is something since we come on here, so and remember bridge and I observe it because we are drive through. We are drive through the town. All right. We know say when Jamaican come up foreign, them work three times harder than when them they are Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So when them say Jamaican lazy, not even Jamaican black people lazy, not no go so. Mm-hmm. There's something that is happening in a Jamaica that people want to come to these places to work. And even though sometimes them life is not better in these places, as I saw going around the town, them still prefer the coal and the, the, the white people them are mixed up with and just them just I get angry with one another still. No. Why may I say that? Mm-hmm. Remember, brother, I look when I observe it. Most Jamaican, you have to tell me if I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah. Most Jamaican, where I see up here, so, the woman, them is either having an ear dressing parlor, mm-hmm. or the man, them have a food shop. Mm-hmm. All right. The other nation, them, when we look on, like, the Chinese them. Yes, Indians. Them own them shop. Them own them shop. And them don't necessarily in a food neither. But them in a food too. Because mm-hmm. everybody in yam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Kurds them. Let me see. Them have them front shop. I will know say a front shop give me information where we get say. Mm-hmm. Them use the shop as front to deal with certain things. But when you look in at the shop, it's like a supermarket. You can't get anything you want in at the shop. I'll, to, I'll know that when we've done all that program, we go out there, you see them open. And we know why them open so late too. 24 hours. Yeah, all right now. White people control the place. And obviously white people have the long stretch. You know, the 100 yard, 100 meter, whatever they might call it. When white people reach along the front, we just start the race, which is not me, I say, up here, so. What is it that is causing, in a England, matter? Because yes, this yes, is supposed yes, to be yes, yes. a land of opportunities, mm-hmm. right? And white people come here all over there. African them from Africa, the Indian them from India. And, and not to mention the Indian them. Mm-hmm. The Prime Minister right now is an Indian. Mm-hmm. Right? In a white man country, the prime minister is an Indian. What is it that is driving black people from getting a piece of the pie? I can't wear them to see when they're in their yard. Not talking about Jamaican, no, but not talking about especially Jamaican. Come here, talk to someone and them say, boy, why are 20 years, me there, 30 years? And them condition, when we did come, come see originally. At the same condition them in her. But them come at England for make it. Right? And you have man say, white people, white people, white people. 
it's not on the black people get discriminated against in England. You see that. But yet still the other people them look like them are pushed further. But the black people them is in the same position. I mean I tell you say, most of my bridging them. When we just start come at England, when we used to them in a brick stand. We see them gen just a while ago we are drive through it. I mean say, why I am call them gentrify bricks and one time you could have come down and you get all this and get all that mm. no way in the bright come like all them one time a pair of black people walk up and down in all them yes. in a middle night mm -hmm. in a middle night you see white people all right we all take a break and come far we all take a break and come far mm. after them run left jamaica run left them family come on and so because them said them after left jamaica got things too hard on jamaica why is it me come at England and see them same bridge in there? From in the 80s when me just start come here. When me look on them, them still not own no house. Some of them still not have no job. The daughter them look like them I look a little better than the man them. Because the man, the woman them have some ear dressing parlor. Because right now ear dressing I do the thing. Um, black woman don't like them ear. More of them don't like certain man, but the, I, I'm say it on the radio all the while. The black woman greatest problem is them ear. Every year them every every week them change them ear and them have ear for seven days a week and all them something like them eyelash, them eyebrow, everything falls a certain way. But them have a, a business all time. No care where we are, say. Them have a business, and you, you can look on the woman them and see say them more progressive in them ways. But the man them, the man them, they are so them not own nothing. I mean, I talk about my bridge in them too, you know. How is it that possible that you left Jamaica 30 years, 20 years ago, and you talk about you got England, right? And you come here so, are you not better off than me down at Jamaica, Rasta? Explain that to me, yeah. First of all, Muta, if you do not have a plan, it means that you plan to fail and you must fail. And this is one of the major reasons in answer to what you're asking. A lot of them come and say they left Jamaica and other places in Africa and the Caribbean saying they want better but wanting better means that you have to have a plan as to how to get better just wanting and wishing is never a solution you must have a plan and most of them if you ask them what plans have you made to acquire economic wealth and strength they cannot tell you. I'll tell you that straight. After this program, you go and ask them. Ask them, what plans have you made to acquire economic power? Because this is what Marcus Garvey said that we should say earlier. We must empower ourselves economically. They don't. In terms of the woman, last night, I was in Halls then. And I heard a sister, Jamaican, boasting to a brethren that you see me, I don't depend upon no man, you know. Because you see this wig where me have on, and you know, so the wig is, is uh, European or Indian wig. Yeah. A 260 odd pound me buy it for you, know. You see that mentality, I just used my example. She, like many others, using money to buy the wig and earpiece of non-African people who hate us and that type of thing. That type of female is not interested in buying books yeah, or paying... Mm -hmm. 
no, but everybody now go conscious to go buy books and them things. No, most I just people, right. you know, mm-hmm. most people want a better life. Yes. So them want a house. Mm-hmm. Them want a family. Them want to so them can buy food. I may have talk about African this and African yes, that, yes, you yes, know. Yes, but yes. you have people say all them want is a life where them can live happy with them family and buy food and them wig and them short dress and all them something there. All right. So we could have cut them from now till dying kingdom come. The daughter them a look at life for themselves when me see more than the man them. So when we are talking about now, how come the woman them look more progressive? And you start to say, yeah, but them are we foreign people, we got them things there. Some, some. Yeah, me because know what we say. Some, because yeah, but I me know some. No, exactly. me know some, you know. Yeah. But if you go start telling me now, say, well, the woman, they're more progressive because they might wear 200 pound wig. But you say the wig come from this and this and that. Mm. We can't eat all that, say that, you know. Mm. But you see them same one. And it's true. Them picnic, they have Jamaica, and they must send 100 pound, go give them picnic, to go to school and college and them things. While the man, the man there so and all him can do is look for breed and next woman here so mm-hmm. or he might do some little thing on the corner then we hear that I don't say woman not do it you know mm-hmm. but I say to me traveling yes, down to the whole do. week I mm-hmm. see most of that so mm-hmm. you have to tell me about the man them and you see you go to the woman them now and start to say yeah the woman them are where we got I say that every day because mm-hmm. I see that true but that still don't negate the fact that the man them up here and do have a plan as you say. Yes. Yeah, them do have a yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, yes. So them up here yes. so and I deal yes, with yes. it. So we don't like find out now. All right, so, so them do have a plan. Mm-hmm. And so do that's the result of not having a plan. Yes. So they fall victim to that type of um oppression that yes. they face because they do have a plan. So you see say, so you see say no. The woman who opened her father's ear salon by serving up something come money over there, she have a father's ear salon. And me not like father's ear. You have prefer say, why, Lego that, you know? So what should you do? No, I am not saying to Lego that. Because the, th- the point of the matter is, the truth of the matter is that the false ear things and so that yeah. are bought are bought from Indians and others who yeah, know own that, these things. Help she. See? When she buy them for $100 from the Indian, she come back up to for $200 and she can't send $50 to go to Jamaica and help her man to go buy some ganja with and then have her house said where we, she can't pay rent. I prefer no say me can pay my rent with something where you and me are claim say why all black people have built up this and black? Of course, black people are long time, black people have built it up. But me I say now, you have unconscious people. Mm-hmm. When we could have talked more about yeah, black yeah, consciousness, yeah. mm-hmm. them now nah go change. Mm-hmm. Them will bleach till bleach come. Yes, yeah, some will not change, but yes, some will change. De- but at them, you some will change. At them, you yeah, yeah. Them not allowing them pick me to suffer. Them want a house. And how mm-hmm. them get it? Them never got teeth. Them never go sell them body. And me talk about when me hear, you know, when me talk to them, you know. Mm-hmm. You have some woman with them look the weirdest way, you know. Fast, this and color, it's like, them now nah, go make you go deal with them through you have to look a pretty talk to them. I see them a party. Mm-hmm. And through them just as certain way, said. Through them just as certain mm-hmm. way, them mm-hmm. go sleep with you. Mm-hmm. Them have them integrity still. Mm-hmm. And it's them girls, you know, when me I say, boy, but look how them. I see a whole heap of them line up. I go through big stand a while ago and I don't remember which part else we are driving. I say, but Ayans, oh, so much falls here, please. I said, that's what I'm looking there. Up here, oh man. You know, see it? I'm around on the other side now. I see a man I come down the road and, you know, left them really. That I say, what is it? It looked like them have a thing against the black man up here now and the black man was gone and then the black woman was going with that little thing. And look how much she said, I don't have You know, much of them coming out of the shop that I did. And I tell me, say, you know, say, me in a Jamaica that I did, I mean, hear you on the radio, but I never see it yet. Mm-hmm. And when we look on the girl, you know, Rasta, she look like she work in a bank. Mm-hmm. And I know bank she work in a, 
But she have her things. And you can't come talk to her in a way. She have her things. I don't know which man up here, sir. Of anything where you can't come talk now here. Yeah. Well, you no, no, you you do have some man because I remember you mentioned that in terms of the food shop, most of the food shops is is a man them who own the food shop thing there. The thing there. The here thing is with our woman. But most of the food shops, so you have some of our man them mm. who have food shops and More and other food. and other and other kind of shops too. Yeah, do, 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 you remember yeah. you them where you come out a barber shop, them the lab. Yeah, yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. Why brought tomorrow, to the book signing? Tomorrow yes. now, tomorrow now. Yes. Upon the step in the sir. Yes. Right? We are gonna interview a brethren where we meet named Basil. Him mm-hmm. have six bookshop. Well it's not even bookshop again. It's book. Because, when we go book and herbal thing and so sweet sweet shop, my sweet sweet shop, him have everything. Natural this this natural holistic this and, and him a vegan restaurant mm-hmm. right and me I said well I may have to put you up on the radio because he's one of a million mm-hmm. he's one of a million brethren because the six store of them the five store of them when me go since me come here so mm-hmm. and him own the five store of them and them in a different different places in a, in a England and so oh him could have do that you know, all the madness and craziness we are going. That because he has a plan. And and, and this well, person who you're talking about. You think say, you on, think say he did left Jamaica I think about a bookstore? No, he did not. You think but, he did left for, 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 a vegan restaurant? Not initially. Okay. But he had the ambition that he wanted to do well in life. Who you talk, well, 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 who you you're talking about is Basil, who yeah, I know, know from yeah, when yeah, yeah, he know, started. You know, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he started yeah. from a, a unit in Eurolink in Brixton, expanded to the Pempamsi in, yeah, in, yeah, in Brixton yeah. Hill, yeah. and then the others like in Halls then, and, um, and, and Walthams to and elsewhere. So I, 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 I know that. From Manchester came with that ambition. So why and is one out of a million see? man thing? Why is one out of a million rasta? Mm. When we come here, come see. And you know why I heard about it? Because of some man when we know from Jamaica. Mm. Well, there's another brother. Some in, man when I'm my age. Mm-hmm. But, the, but there's another brother, for example, from Brixton. Who has a 24 hour food job. In Brixton, he also has a food place in Croydon mm-hmm. and also a place where can be rented out to have events for our community, yeah. which is important because most of the times when our people, as African people, want to have family or whatever events, we have to be hiring from non-African people. Yeah. So that thing by that brother, mm-hmm. having a place in Croydon rent is an example of the direction where we need more of our people, man and woman, to, 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 to do. And as you say, some of them are stagnant, not going anywhere. But at the same time, we support those who are progressive. And we have to get our people to practice that Marcus Garvey thing of supporting and buying from our own. Because there's also the mentality, self-hatred mentality, that a lot of our people do not like to support our other people who have businesses. They would rather go to non-Africans and give them their money than our own thing. And that is something that cannot be disregarded because it is true. So we, we applaud those and we hope to help to increase their numbers by supporting them and, 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 and that type of situation. And a thing that I must put again is in terms of a sense of values. I have seen where a lot of our African parents in England, for example, whenever they choose to be buying things for their children here, they tend to be buying Flip on things rather than things that would engage their youths to put them on a more progressive path. The reason why the, re, the re, reason why I, 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 I'm, I'm saying that Richie Sonak, you mentioned him, Indian, 
Hindu uh, is now uh, Prime uh, Minister. Uh, we're going to take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a break and come forward. This is the continent. We're talking about our position, the position of the position where black people, especially those who come from Caribbean, I say Jamaica specifically, I'm talking because most of the ones them who we get linked with over the past week are really Jamaicans, right? All right. So this person, you know, what's your name? Exodus. <laughs> you run for Jamaica, you're Exodus. All right. After. All right. So him say, him is Exodus, and he bring cross a point, you know, where we never did examine, and he might examine. So him say, no, the reason why the woman them have advantage, I'm going to tell you. All right. Go right to the mic. Yes, I greetings one and all. Um, give thanks, Brother Muta, to Abinai and all the brethren them, Brother Mandingo, mm-hmm. Tamodi and yeah, man, BSC. From my perspective, I believe that the woman them in, the females them rather, in the UK have a, 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 a outset in life, an advantage over Englishmen in terms that they are the actual breadwinner. Bless the woman them and them bring we into this world. If it wasn't for them, I and I wouldn't be here. So in England, the advantage for the females, them working with the councils that the, the woman them have or gain council residence from the government in the good old days as the mm-hmm. I would know. Mm-hmm. If you have two or three kids, you go mm-hmm. to the council mm-hmm. and get the council. Mm-hmm property and mm. the females them to be fair to them them advance them go to university them struggle with the kids them they make sure so the kids them go decent school and move on to university and most of the man them female them have two or three kids and then for some reason in the workout relationship in the workout with mm. female and you find it say a, a big 65 year old man, 70 year old man, I walk up and then I plot up a mirror, wear some short jeans, yeah, things say my young man. man them again, like yeah. You got to talk about the woman them, the reason why the woman them advance. I have say, one of the reasons them is that the government secure the woman because she is the one who will look about the children them. Of course, and it's not just the black woman. No, it's a female in general. Of course, because of the educational facilities, they make use of it. They get themselves together, and they are actual breadwinners. They yeah. they work, save, go to university, and advance themselves in the work. That means that say originally. Them advance themselves. The, the woman them has make a move, and the man them still. Missy man my age, brethren. In a this week, yeah, man my. Missy man my age. In a this week, yeah. When we know from. All the man say know my granny. <laughs> know my granny to write it for a George Stone. You know what she has me left George Stone, Rasta? And, and a man, another man, me don't know where me know him from, but him say me know me, right? And me I say, the man almost my age, and him no look no different. When me say no look no different, you know, I look older than me too. But really and truly, me not see what is it that him come to England to do. Man thing go say, you have to come with a plan. Me don't know if every man will come up here, they actually know where he might do. But when him come up here and say, him just take a thing and run with it. Yeah. That's why I'm going to talk to the virgin tomorrow. Say, him, him look like him just take a thing and just run with it and it'll work for him. Where man thing go say? You, you must have a plan. And that is why I say, because without a plan, it means you plan to fail. I said that earlier, and that is so. And in terms of the woman, because of, in terms of, you have to live somewhere. Most of the women are able to get ahead on the housing market and so on, because having the children, that qualifies them to have the council flats. 
when they start to sell off the council flats and so at reduced prices and so because they were the ones who were the tenants in the council flats, they got that kind of bly, which was more because very few men qualified for that because very few men were the ones who had custody of their children. And the, and and this is what happened. So it, so I am pointing out the economic truth and reality of how the women, to a larger extent, were able to improve themselves in terms of owning property. I am not asking an individual this. This is something that I know and others who know how this place run is the site go. Right? And next point that I'm saying also, which is important, I was mentioning Rishi Sunak. The sad truth, because to get ahead, we have to acknowledge the good and also the bad. No, no, no excuses. I have seen where a lot of our African Mothers and fathers, instead of spending money to send their children to good schools or to have private lessons to increase their educational advancement, would rather fritter the money away on other things. Like falls here. Not just false here. The, the, the man them... And jewelry and all kind of thing. I'm no partial, car both are involved. Thing. While what I know, not guess, what I know is that the Chinese and Indians, for example, spend a lot of money and sacrifice to see that their children get a good education by sending them to good schools, paying money. To get private tuition so that they are successful educationally. And at the same time, I have seen we are some, too many of our African parents refuse to spend money to spend for the educational advancement of their children, both men and women. This is something I am not asking any individual about. This is something that I, Mandingo, know personally because I have seen it. And I teach informally different subjects and so given my educational background and thing. So I am involved in that type of thing. So I know exactly when I say that. So people like the Rishi Sonaks and so on, they get ahead. A prime example, in the 60s and 70s, we started to see, for example, on TV and radio, a few of our African men and women as presenters and producers and that type of thing. But what I have noticed, you see, from the 1980s onwards, especially now, a lot of these positions in radio and TV, public imagery now, where you can see, and in other fields where you don't see publicly, is now Indians you see, men and women, in those jobs, in jobs on TV and radio that used to be occupied by African men and women as news readers and things. That's a reality. Yes, this is the cutting edge. We are delving at some English vibes, yeah, you know, we, we delve. <laughs> is that serious thing, you know? Yes. Yes, it's good that we here in England. So, here we are going to do now. We're going to take the last break and come forward. And you know, say we're going there again. Two o'clock. Kinson time. And seven o'clock. London time. With the stepping razor. So it come like, in England, we're not get the two programs in one day. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? Little and when me done, you so no. Me have to go drive a whole hour so to go sleep and get up again to come to the next program. So you see with me and do with me. <laughs> it be so jokes a little more. But yes, this is the cutting edge on RFM.